Hi, good morning everyone. I am KN Nursi Murthy. I am presently working in a government first aid women's college, Tumkur. I am going to present a video for the subject physics. This is my 25th video for the second semester BSc students of Tumkur University. Right. The topic which I am presenting today is the problems which are related to the magnetostatics. Now I have discussed the magnetostatics in my last nine videos in this unit where I covered uh, the two important laws of magnetostatics. One is the bayard savarts law, another one is the ampere circuit law where we applied this for many cases and solved the many problems. After that, I discussed a very important instrument which is called the Belastic Galvanometer, which is a very sensitive instrument and I discussed how it has to be constructed and what is the theory of it and what is the principle behind the Belastic Galvanometer. After that, I applied these Belastic Galvanometer. I used the Belastic Galvanometer to find the high resistance by the method called leakage. So, I have told you the procedure of measuring the resistance, high resistance by using the ballistic galvanometer by the method called leakage. Right, after completing this chapter magnetostatics, we will see some of the problems which are regarding the magnetostatics. These numericals are very very important for the uh, exam point of view because you will have a 20 marks for these problems. For 90 marks, 20 marks is problem means almost 25% of your question paper will cover the problems itself. So you need to focus more on the problems to get more marks in the exam. So I mean to say you need to apply the theory, you need to apply the laws to solve the problems. Problems are a kind of application for application of the laws and theories you know in the, uh, the theory part. Right, right. I'll read out the problem and we'll I'll solve the problem step by step. An electron of energy 4.6 MeV. Now the energy is expressed in mega electron volts. Right, is falling vertically downwards in uniform horizontal magnetic field of 2.2 Tesla. Calculate the force acting on it. Given the mass of electron Me is 9.1 10 to the power of minus 31 kg and charge of electron is Q which is equal to 1.6 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb. Okay. So clearly the energy of the electron is given is given which is 4.6 MeV mega electron volt. You can convert this into joules as well. And the magnetic field, the horizontal magnetic field is also given which is 2.2 Tesla. And mass of electron charge of electron is given sometimes students the mass of electrons and the charge of electrons may not be given but you need to know the value of mass and charge of electrons so mass of electron is 9.1 10 power minus 31 kg and the charge of electron is 1.6 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb these are the standard constants you need to know uh, while solving the problems regarding this electro or magnetostatics now first list out all the data given over there and next step you have to use a relevant formula for this. Now mass of electron is listed, charge of electron is listed, the magnetic field which is given. So energy is 4.6 MeV where I am converting this into EV 4.6 into 10 to the power of 6 electron volt. Now how will you convert this energy into joules? That's the main thing. So it is EV. So E is charge of electron. Again, you multiply that the value with the charge of electron, which is 1.6 10 to the power of minus 19. So automatically the answer will be in terms of joules. So 4.6 10 to the power of 6 multiplied by the charge of electron will give you the answer in the joules. Now the answer is 7.36 into 10 to the power of minus 13 joule is the energy expressed in terms of joules right 
So once you get an energy, you have a formula for the kinetic energy as of mv square. So we know the energy, energy that energy itself is the kinetic energy, the energy given which is 4.6 mev and we have converted that into joules. That itself is the kinetic energy of the electrons. So it is given, me is given, mass of electron is also given. So you can calculate the velocity of electron with this formula. Right. So we'll move on to the next problem and see what will be the velocity of electrons. Right. Now you rearrange the formula of kinetic energy and get the equation for the velocity of the electron. So velocity of the electron V is equal to root of 2 Ke by M. Substitute each quantities one by one. Two is their kinetic energy which is in joule. That has to be substituted in the equation. 7.36 10 to the power of minus 13 divided by the mass of electron 9.1 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. So you have to maintain everything in the SI unit. The kinetic energy in joules, mass in the kg. So it is enough that all quantities has to be mentioned in the SI unit while substituting in the formula. So I got easily the velocity as 1.271 into 10 to the power of 9 meter per second. So velocity unit is meter per second. All right. So I found the velocity of electron. Next is the magnetic force which is acting on these electrons when it is placed in a magnetic field. Now I need to find out the force which is acting on these electrons. So we have a well-known formula which I have expressed in my previous videos that the force acting on the charged particle when it is moving in a magnetic field is F equals BQV sin theta or in a vector form it is Q into V crash B. Okay. Now everything is given, all the data is given, just substitute it and get the answer. Q is charge of electron which is 1.6 10 to the power of minus 19 and velocity I just found the value of velocity from the energy I got the velocity of electron as 1.271 10 to the power of 9 multiplied by the magnetic field which is clearly given as 2.2 tesla and angle sin 90 this is an horizontal electric field and charges is moving vertical look at the problem look at the problem electrons are falling down vertically in uniform horizontal magnetic field we have an horizontal magnetic field and electrons are falling vertical the angle between them is clearly 90 degree okay so theta is 90 degree so sine 90 is 1 so force acting on these charged particles which are vertically moving down due to the magnetic field is calculated as 4.47 into 10 to the power of minus 10 newton okay that's it so that's all the first problem okay it was a damn easy problem direct substitution only thing is velocity has been calculated from the kinetic energy and that velocity has been substituted in the force formula right I'll go to the second problem. Calculate the magnetic force acting on a charge 2 milli coulomb moving with velocity 2.2 meter per second at an angle of 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree to the direction of magnetic field 2 Tesla. So all the data are very clear here, very straight formula and you need to calculate them the magnetic force which is acting on a charged particle which is moving with some velocity and this is moving with the, velo the velocity vector is making an angle of uh, 30, 60 and 90 degree with a magnetic field. So we have a three different angles. So you need to calculate three different forces. So it has been asked you to calculate the magnetic field at three different cases. Right. So first let us write down the data which is given very clearly. Charge is given to milli coulomb. Milli is 10 to the power of minus 3. Convert it, you express it in coulomb. And the magnetic field is 2 tesla. 
and the velocity of the electron which is falling down is 2.2 meter per second and theta you have a 3 theta take 1 theta now and calculate 1 force so I have taken theta as first theta as 30 degree and let me find out the force now F1 is equal to again the same formula BQV sine theta so apply it substitute for charge as 2 milli coulomb 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and velocity of the electron is 2.2 magnetic field is 2 and the sine of the angle sine 30 degree you calculate this with the calculator you will get an answer as 4.4 into 10 to the power of minus 3 newton yeah okay now similarly i can find out another force f2 by taking an angle of theta 2 as 60 degree which is an angle between the velocity and the magnetic field vector okay i got an another force f2 by sub just substituting theta as 60 degree so remaining everything will be same bqv is same i need to change only the angle theta 2 which is 60 degree i will get the answer as 7.6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 newton and in the third case also bqv will remain same i am changing the angle theta 3 now the angle is 90 degree so sine 90 is 1 now the cal calculated the force is 8.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3 newton yeah students i will make a note here look at the angles 30 60 and 90 degree at 30 degree the force is less 4.4 at 60 degree force is bit high 7.6 at 90 degree the force is maximum it is 8.8 .8. so i can make a conclusion over here is that if you go on increasing the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field this force will go on increasing up to 90 degree after that again it will decrease so up to 90 degree if you increase the angle the force which is acting on this charged particle moving with some velocity will definitely go on increasing up to 90 degree 90 degree it experiences a maximum force All right so we'll look at the third problem a capacitor of capacitance 200 microfarad is charged to a potential of 2 volts and then discharged through bg first throw as noted on the scale placed away is 0.8 meter it is theta 1 if the period time period of oscillation is 2 seconds which is capital T and logarithmic de decrement is 0 0.04 which is lambda calculate the velocity constant K and figure of merit of the galvanometer very straightforward question very straightforward you need to calculate K and also the figure of merit of the galvanometer it's a very straightforward problem first write down all the data which is given over there the capacitance of capacitor is 200 microfarad 210 to the power of minus 6 farad and the potential is also given which is 2 volts the throw of the galvanometer the deflection of the coil theta 1 is 0.8 meter and period of oscillation is 2 seconds logarithmic decrement is 0 0.04 now i need to calculate the two things over here one is the velocity constant k another one is the q by theta which is reciprocal of the charge sensitivity which is called figure of merit now for that let me calculate q first charge charge on the capacitor is c into v so this is a well-known formula to find the charge on the capacitor q equals cv c is given 200 microfarad 200 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and potential across the capacitor is 2 if you calculate it comes out to be 400 micro coulomb 400 into 10 to the power of minus 6 after finding the charge on the capacitor we have a formula for the charge which is flowing through the ballistic galvanometer which is k t by 2 pi theta 1 1 plus lambda by 2 this is the formula which i derived when i discussing the theory of the galvanometer 
Now one thing I have substituted here is for theta I have substituted theta 1 1 plus lambda by 2 where theta is the correct deflection and theta 1 is the observed deflection. When converting a correct deflection to an observed deflection you need to take theta as theta 1 into 1 plus lambda by 2. Lambda is called the logarithmic decrement. Right, so Q I know what I want exactly is the K. So substitute K here. You know, for get the equation for K. You just rearrange everything and get the equation for K and substitute each and every quantities in the above equation. Now Q which I found out 410 to the power of minus 6. We know 2 pi what 2 pi is. For period of oscillation T you substitute 2. And for 1 by theta 1 you substitute 0 0.8 and within the bracket we have 1 plus lambda by 2 we know what is lambda is 0 0.04 you substitute it's a complex calculation do it with a calculator you do the calculation with a calculator you will get an answer as 1540 into 10 to the power of minus 6 this is a velocity constant so we don't have a unit for this so simply mention this k as 1540 into 10 to the power of minus 6 without unit. Right, we have another thing to calculate that's a figure of merit which is reciprocal of charge sensitivity which is t by 2 pi into k. Okay, charge sensitivity is actually k 2 pi by t uh, divided by k. Yeah, if I take the reciprocal of that, it is this. And I, if I go on substituting this, I know just I found the value of k, which is 1540 10 power minus 6. And t is what the period of oscillation. And theta is and 2 pi, I'll get the answer as 490 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb per meter. Coulomb is the charge and deflection which is seen on the scale will be in terms of meter. So it is coulomb per meter is what the figure of merit which we got for this particular problem. Yeah, we look at the next problem. Here the capacitance capacitor is charged by the battery of 4 volts. Then discharged through the ballistic galvanometer to produce a deflection of 12 centimeter. If capacitor is charged again and leak through a high resistance for 4 seconds and then discharge through the ballistic galvanometer, the deflection is reduced to 10 cm. Earlier deflection was 12 cm, now the deflection was 10 cm. Earlier deflection we call it as theta, now the deflection is theta 1. Calculate the value of high resistance. The period of ballistic galvanometer is 8 seconds. And its current sensitivity is given which is 0 0.3182 into 10 to the power of 6 milli per ampere. Okay. Right. Yeah. Current sensitivity is given. No, it is meter per ampere. You make the correction. It's meter per ampere. It is not milli. Meter per ampere. Now write down the data. All the data are given. You need to know which is theta and which is theta naught. It has you have to be very careful. The first deflection which you got is theta, and it is supposed to be theta one. We we'll go back and look at the formula. Yeah. Yeah. The first one without leaking, we are uh, all the charge on the capacitor we are pushing into the ballistic galvanometer, and that theta is twelve centimeter. After leaking. The deflection is 10 centimeter. You have to be careful here at this point. Right. So we have a charge sensitivity is theta by Q, which is 2 pi by T into current sensitivity. Uh, from this equation, I can calculate the Q. Q is equal to, if you cross multiply, you'll get theta T by 2 pi current sensitivity. Now I know from Q, I can calculate capacitance. I will write down an equation for capacitance from there itself. So C is equal to Q by V into uh, Q by V which is equal to we know the I know the equation for Q. So just Q, put the Q equation and divided by V, V will goes to the denominator. It's theta T 
divided by 2 pi into current sensitivity into the potential V. Right. So all the things are given. The throw is given, the first throw without leaking. It is 12 centimeter. Substitute theta and period of oscillation is 8. Substitute it. 2 pi current sensitivity is given 0 0.3182 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into the potential is 4. So from this I can get the value of capacitance. So from this capacitance I can directly go to the formula of high resistance which I derived in my just previous video. So R is equal to T by 2.303 C log theta by theta naught. Okay. Right. So uh, yeah. Now we know the value of C just calculated. It's 0 0.12 microfarad. Substitute it. Log of theta by theta naught. Here you have to be very careful. Where theta which is in the upper part is the theta which is deflection produced in BG without leakage. Means all the charge is pushed to the ballastic granometer and the deflection is theta which is in the upper part. In the lower part, which is the denominator, I can say, it is that theta which we got the deflection after leaking a charge for a certain amount of time and the remaining charge is pushed through the BG and that deflection is 10 centimeter. Okay. Right. It's 12 by 10. So if you do the calculation with the calculator, you will get an answer R high resistance is 182 mega ohm. It's 10 to the power of minus 6. Even you can calculate. No, this is one of the method where we are finding accurately the value of high resistance. Even with a multimeter, even with a color code also, you can find the value of resistance. Of course, that is not a problem. Sometimes high resistance cannot be found out with the multimeters. Okay. So there in that case, accuracy, uh, when you look at the point of accuracy, you need to use the, uh, this velocity galvanometer to get a very high, high accuracy to find the value of high resistance. Yeah. Yes, yeah, still one more problem is left. Now this time it's a capacitor of capacitance 0 0.6 microfarad is charged to a potential of 4 volts and then discharge through BG, it gives a deflection of 12 centimeter. If time period is 20 seconds, calculate the current sensitivity of BG. In fact, it's a very simple problem compared to the previous problem. Previous one was a bit complicated problem. Here it is, uh, it is told to calculate the current sensitivity of BG. First write down all the data. Capacitance is given 0.6 microfarad. Micro means 10 to the power of minus 6. Yeah, potential across the capacitor is 4 volts and the deflection produced in BG is 12 centimeter expressed in meters and period is 20 seconds. From that data, I can first calculate the value of Q. No, no, Q is C into V. Charge on the capacitor is C into V. You take that equation and substitute that in the charge sensitivity equation. We know charge sensitivity is the charge means it's a deflection produced per unit charge. So SQ is equal to theta divided by Q. Theta divided by Q is CV. Charge on the capacitor is CV. So it is theta divided by CV. So substitute it. Theta is known 12 centimeter. CV is known. Uh, you substitute everything. So you will get the value of charge sensitivity as 5 into 10 to the power of 4 milli coulomb. So sorry, it's a meter coulomb, meter per coulomb. Why meter? Because the theta will be measured by the spot which is moving on the horizontal scale which is in meters. So the theta is in meters, okay? And the charge will be in the coulombs. So theta by Q will give you the charge sensitivity. So it is 5 into 10 to the power of 4 uh, meter per coulomb is the unit for charge sensitivity. Right. Along with that, we need to calculate current sensitivity also. So we have a <coughs> relation between charge sensitivity and a current sensitivity. 
सो करेंट सेंसिटिविटी इज इक्वल टू टू पै बै टी टाइम द चार सेंसिटिविटी दट्स अ वेरी सिंपल फार्मुला सब्सिट्यूट इट वी नो वट इज टी इज पीरियड ऑफ आइसोलेशन विच इज ट्वेंटी एंड वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ चार सेंसिटिविटी एज वेल जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड सब्सिट्यूट इट सो इट इज टू इंटू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर टू इंटू फाइव इंटू टेन टू दी पवर ऑफ फोर डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी सो आई गॉट इन वैल्यू ऑफ करंट सेंसिटिविटी एज वन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन वन इंटू टेन टू दी पवर ऑफ फोर वाट्स यूनिट फॉर दिस इट इज सेकेंड डिफ्लेक्शन मीटर पर एम्पियर सो यूनिट फॉर द करंट सेंसिटिविटी इज मीटर पर एम्पियर ओके सो राइट so i got these things charge sensitivity and the current sensitivity so the problem part is over i finished the problem part of this chapter magnetostatics so we one more small chapter of 5 hours is left in this unit you go through these books you you can find many problems regarding this magnetostatics go on solving the problem it is Uh, problems will be very easy when you solve more and more number of problems so that is why you go on solving the number of problems which are available in these textbooks so you will get a good knowledge about the problems about the theory also so do it solve it so do well in the exam thank you